Hi there. Today we will talk about discovery learning. Discovery learning is an inquiry-based instructional approach in which the learners builds new knowledge from prior knowledge and active experience. With this method, students actively participate instead of passively receiving knowledge. Discovery learning is an active or hands-on style of learning introduced in 1960s by one of the founders on constructivist theory, Jerome Bruner. Bruner emphasized that we should be learning by doing. Jerome Bruner proposed three modes of representation which are an active representation, an action-based, iconic representation, an image-based, symbolic representation, a language-based. For Bruner, we learn first through an active representation. This mode is used within the first year of life. Thinking is based entirely on physical actions and infants learn by doing. It involves encoding physical action-based information and storing it in our memory. This happens in hands-on experiences, ideally with real-world applications. For example, to divide 4 by 2, two students learn to cut a cake into four slides, so that each can eat one now and bring one home later. Step 2 is iconic representation. This mode is used within 1 to 6 years of life. Information is stored as sensory images. Thinking is also based on the use of other mental images such as hearing, smell or touch. We now link our memories of the experience to iconic pictures. For example, students are asked to draw a cake that was cut into four pieces. Last comes symbolic representation. This mode is acquired seven years onward. This is where information is stored in the form of a code or symbol, such as language. It is also called language-based because we are really just learning the right words and symbols to express our thoughts. Bruner advocated for the use of a spiral curriculum with continuous repetition of the same fundamental ideas. The curriculum is comprised of three characteristics. First, students revisit the same topic at regular intervals. Second, the complexity of the topic increases with each revisit. Third, the new learning has a relationship with previous learning. Teachers also use scaffolding, a term coined by Bruner. Teachers do this by structuring activities based on students' existing knowledge and in a way that helps them to reach the achieved learning outcome. The teacher first demonstrates the process as the student watches. Then, the teacher lets the student have a go, steps back, and offers support and feedback when needed. In short, discovery learning is based on the assumption that we learn best when we go from concrete to abstract. Throughout the experience, we constantly revisit previously learned topics while teachers provide carefully structured guidance along the way. What do you think about Bruner's discovery learning? Is this how you learn in your studies? I hope you learned something. Thank you.